So let's begin with the kind of questions which can come from the section on agriculture. Very, very interesting topic. Very, very simple. Very predictive questions. So here we have uh, what are the various types of agriculture. Now in our lecture, uh, we have already covered the types of farming. From the primitive subsistence, what is slash and burn? What is the other name for it? Very common question. Which kind of primitive tools are used? Another common question which can come here. Then the names. Very, very important. This is something you would have to memorize. A lot of things which you would have to memorize in this chapter, but really very scoring. So in India, what are the names in various regions? So it's called Deepa in Bastar. Uh, then it is called Juming in Northeast. Then across the globe, what are the names? Ray in Vietnam, Ladang in Indonesia, uh, Daya in Madhya Pradesh, Podu in Andhra Pradesh. So these names you would have to remember. You can simply keep a note on your wall somewhere or on a sheet of paper, stick to your wall whenever you go through through you can remember those so very very basic things very very scoring section but you would have to memorize okay the next is intensive farming uh, intensive subsistence here right to inheritance is one of the important questions that can come under commercial what are the things so H, uh, hyv seeds high yielding variety seeds uh, then we have lots of fertilizers insecticides and pesticides uh, then the commercial crops where they can be used banana plantation occurs in where you can have picture based questions this is an example of what kind of crop so you would have to say yes it is a plantation crop various choices can be given okay then we have plantations related to which crops again important tea coffee rubber sugarcane banana are the common examples which regions which kind of plantations are seen so tea in Assam uh, coffee in Karnataka are good examples to mention okay then it is capital intensive first of all large tracts of lands are required and Lots of labor. So labor intensive, capital intensive uh, and single crop is grown. So that is how we understand the commercial or the plantation crops. Now cropping pattern, three important patterns, Rabi, Kharif and Zayed. So what is Rabi? Where the season begins, where the season ends, what are the major crops which grow in uh, Rabi? And then uh, what are the mention, uh, major crops which grow in Kharif? When it starts, when it ends. So harvesting is in which months and uh, then we have the cutting of the crops in which months so uh, that is uh, what we need to understand we also understand what are the major crops so the crops related to kharif are again given uh, you can have a simple question where can you can be shown a picture based question of rice and you can be asked rice is part of which so three crops uh, of rice can be grown in a year those are oz aman and boro and uh, uh, these are the kind of uh, questions that can come okay the next is Zayat when does uh, it happen it occurs between Rabi and Kharif short season usually fruits and vegetables then the major crops so each of the major crop which crop it is whether it is a Kharif crop Rabi crop uh, what temperature what humidity and what rainfall is required and which areas it is grown so uh, those are the major things so temperature humidity uh, rainfall and regions where it is grown okay so rice is one example so the map again the map location where the rice is grown where the wheat is grown what is the rainfall requirement rainfall requirement is very very crucial to know okay uh, in north what kind of soil and in south what kind of soil is good for wheat again important bajra grows on what kind of soil so sandy and shallow there can be reverse question which crop grows good on sandy soil and shallow black soil so again you should be able to answer that then understanding the temperature range for various crops so again for maize what is the temperature range which states it is grown millets what are the common millets so uh, three major millets that we study here uh, jowar is the third most important crop with respect to area and production again a very direct question which can come for your uh, term one examination and which states jowar is commonly seen these millets have high nutritional value so this is the area for your wheat cultivation in the map then pulses what are the major pulses the pulses or the dal as we call in common language the common uh, pulses they are leguminous except arhar help in restoring soil fertility by fixing nitrogen so this is again important which crop is an exception so arhar or tur is an exception for the same then other crops besides the food grain crops uh, sugar cane sugar cane what is the temperature range what is the rainfall range 
okay uh, the irrigation what kind of irrigation is required manual labor is required and there is uh, the what are the major sources of uh, what can be the major things which can be obtained from sugar cane so sugar gur khansari and molasses now uh, north and south both of these regions have sugar cane industry and india is the second largest producer after brazil then we have oil seeds what are the common uh, things through which oil can be obtained so mustard coconut sesame uh, sesame soya bean castor cotton seed linseed and sunflower okay uh, then groundnut whether it is a kharif crop is another question largest producer is which state so gujarat uh, linseed and mustard are rabi crop so which of those are rabi sesame is again a kharif crop so groundnut and sesame are kharif crop groundnut uh, sesame is kharif in north india but in south india it is a rabi crop so again important and castor is again both a rabi and kharif crop so which are exclusively kharif crop which are rabi crop which are kharif plus rabi uh, rabi in different seasons and different regions okay then tea plantation uh, what kind of uh, temperature requirements so frost frost free conditions are required which is important so there can be a simple question which of the following crops would require a frost free environment so tea would be the right answer it is highly labor intensive so the regions where it is grown uh, darjeeling and jalpaiguri are seen in uh, districts are present in which state can be a question where you see tea cultivation so the answer is west bengal then coffee Uh, we initially brought it from yemen the arabica variety and then we have mainly in the babubudan hills uh, in south in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu coffee cultivation is commonly seen then horticulture which fruits are grown where so lychee li and guava in uttar pradesh and bihar pineapple in meghalaya grapes in andhra pradesh and so on oranges in nagpur and chera punji now these are the common questions that can directly come and india is the second largest in terms of fruit and vegetable production in 2007 then we have similar questions for non food crops rubber rainfall more than 200 so there can be vice versa question which of the crop requires rainfall more than 200 so rubber would be the right answer then temperature requirements the regions where they grow garo hills in meghalaya which of the crops grows well in garo hills then similarly we have for jute which is no what is known as golden fiber so the correct answer here would be jute uh, gunny bags can be made from jute okay what is sericulture with silkworm rearing uh, then we have cotton production how many frost free frost free days are required so 210 or vice versa 210 for the frost free days are required for which crop so it is cotton so those kind of questions the twist and turn of the question is very very important picture based study can come in you can be given the diagram and asked which crop it is and this crop requires how many frost free days so the correct answer would be 210 okay then we have green revolution package technology for mainly agriculture white revolution for dairy it is also known as operation flood uh, so similarly we have agriculture and laws related to it uh, some of the important developments are abolition of zamindari consolidation of holdings uh, cooperation uh, then various land reforms mainly during the first 5 year plan are important so those are some of the co common questions recent developments Cre kisan credit card personal accident insurance schemes are some of those mentioned in your book so that is to be covered what was bloodless revolution by uh, vinoba bhave so it was also known as budan gramdan movement what is gramdan and uh, who took some of the major efforts along with uh, vinoba bhave to develop or to bring this development so mahatma gandhi uh, considered vinoba bhave as one of the next persons who would take forward the gram swaraj and this was the uh, details then the gdp from agriculture how it has been changing the values you must remember the contribution of various uh, research institutes agricultural universities icar what is the acronym for icar indian council for agricultural research again a very basic question from your mcq section then uh these statistics this table the statistics needs to be remembered important for uh, the growth rate of gdp across various sectors specifically the changes in the service sector and the agriculture in two of the years that we have circled okay then how during the british period cotton belts were affected and the exports and the imports were affected how the cotton textile mills flourished in the regions of manchester and liverpool and that was due to good quality cotton coming from india and uh, 
later on we were unable to grow food grains to sustain uh, the local population and there was a lot of pressure on the agricultural security which started so uh, that is again important the next important thing that we need to understand is gene revolution or genetic engineering what it is and how it helps to invent the new hybrid varieties of the seed uh, the various pesticides fertilizers that can be used and in india how rural population has been working for the development now here are some of the common questions which of the following is a leguminous crop which is a pulse which is uh, which does not help in increasing the fertility through nitrogen so arhar as we talked about examples of rabi crop kharif crop as already discussed uh, where we have a single crop which is shown on a large area so we call this as a plantation agriculture then what is the difference between shifting and intensive agriculture so all these topics again as i mentioned we have covered already in our video lecture uh, but this lecture is specifically dedicated to understanding what kind of questions can come from uh, this lesson we would be covering many more topics from economics political science and history for your sst and then science as well before your term 1 examination so stay tuned for many more updates from our side wish you very good luck for preparation. Thank you.